Warrior Ritual G4 unboxing now. Let's do it. Voice over goalie. All right, let's do this. Unboxing of the Warrior Ritual G4 Custom Pros. Let's go. So to give you guys a little bit of a background, I have not bought new gear in legit four years. I think the last purchase I made was in 2014. I've been using the same pads and gloves since 2013. So it's been a long time coming. I am super excited. Like you don't even know excited. You see unboxings and they seem excited, but no, I'm legit excited. Uh, so let's go. Here we go. I got these uh, up at the goalie crease. Jay and Rance were awesome to work with. And oh my gosh, man, these look amazing. Let's see. First, G4 knee pads, super psyched. Uh, I've been using, I have a history with Pete. I, full disclosure, I am the biggest Pete Smith fanboy. I've had his gear from way back in like, I think 2009, I had uh, 1,000 gloves. I had uh, Smith 6,000 pads and gloves. I love his stuff, and I've been dying to get my hands on a set of G4s. But I've been still using his old Smith knee pads, so uh, super psyched to be using these. Let's see what else is in this box. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. G4 blocker. So people say a blocker is a blocker, but you know what? It's not, man. It's not. For me, I've always liked a lower palm placement. Um, and I think that was one of the things that, that Pete's gloves I liked, but having the movable palm for me is one of the biggest, biggest uh, deals because on all my custom gloves, I've had the palms lowered intentionally and oh man this guy feels good it feels pretty balanced right out of the right out of the box i might go with the lower palm placement um but this thing this thing looks awesome nice let's see what else is in here oh. Ah, oh, here we go. Catcher. So for my catching glove liner, I went with a 60 degree. Um, because I really do like that baseball feel. Comes with a pro palm insert or practice palm insert. And Nice and bound up with a piece of foam in the middle to protect the pocket. End up going with a single T on this. Um, same thing a double T, just I wanted to go with a double T, but it seemed a little flimsy. Uh, the spines didn't seem like they were reinforced enough um, for my liking. So I went with the single T red skate lace, which is something that I think Warrior is, is offering just with this line right now. And let's see. Oh yeah, this guy feels good. Oh, super crazy wrist mobility. Presents nice and big. This thing looks awesome. Uh, it's also super light. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a glove. Sweet. I'll have to play around with this a little bit more later. And the pads. Here we go. Oh my gosh, these are so light. These are crazy light. <laughs> So I went with the uh, the classic look instead of the Ritual G4 graphic because I grew up 
in the 90s. I'm an old school guy, so I like that stitched on knee roll look. Um, these look amazing. These are super light. I have had in the past, um, like I said, Smith 6000 pads. I've also had Ritual 1 G1 pads, so I knew what I was getting into. Um, and then for a while I went to a much softer pad, but I found that all my rebounds were really sloppy and all these greasy goals were being scored to me. So uh, I was really psyched to get back into a much stiffer pad. Um, these are 32 plus 1.5 because I'm only 5'7". Um, but you know what? These are super, super light. The air slide ridges look really cool. They're much stiffer than I thought they were going to be. Um, but yeah, super excited to get back into, into Pete Smith's gear. There's a good amount of flex right here at the, at that break. The boot still feels a little, a little stiff, but that should be good. These look awesome. All right, that's my quick unboxing video. So I'm gonna mess around with my gear and uh, I'll uh, get, you on a, <laughs> get you on another video with some more in-depth looks at, at this stuff. Later, guys. <laughs>